This is a short video showing how easy it is to add multiple map locations to BuzzTouch app. First you open, open uh, Google Earth and we're going to put some uh, locations in here. I've got a default location set up of my hometown and I'm going to create a uh, new folder called Lakes here are some lakes or something like that um, and now I just click to add a location move it to a lake give the lake a name and we can give it a short description if we had more time and you wanted to get into it you could add images um, an image link to an image you have on the server someplace you could add uh, hyperlinks within these but for now I'm just going to add a few lakes here real quickly and uh, to see that you can add multiple locations easy. Little Long Lake. I'm narrating this after the fact, so there'll probably be awkward pauses. So we'll just let it go, add a few more lakes here. I could say when you uh, get ready to save this that you want to make sure that you save you, you'll see where I click over here on the lakes directory that I created to put these locations in you can screw up and just not click on something and leave the last location and when you save your file you will save it as a uh, just one one place so This is the last lake, Bluegill Lake. We could add any number of them. I have a KMZ file from my forestry forum that I dumped into this to test, and it had a thousand, over a thousand entries, and it uh, had no problem. saving it uh, as lake.knz I'll uh, bring up my FTP program and drag the file over to the web server in this case um, we're going to I'm sending it to my forestryforum.com website now we're going to go to Google Maps and this is pretty simple. You uh, just type in the URL of the file. In this case, it was uh, forestreform.com slash lakes.kmz. And you click search. And it automatically will find that file. Now, the magic part is, is you can click on the link and it will create a link click short link and it'll make a really short link and this link embeds your KMZ file into the Google Maps so we back over to bus touch I'm going to use my 1.4 app um, Harrison Lakes for a description I started a uh, URL page and in the URL we just simply post that uh, short link we got from Google. Now I'm going to uh, switch gears and bring up my emulator. I was going to use a phone, but this is easier to see. So it's a little slow and a little clunky. It, it works a lot better on the phone than it does on here. So there you can see it's added the Harrison Lakes link to the app. 
um, brings up Google there's our pins for our new locations and if you click on a pin you should get a description and if we had linked to an image or something like that we'd actually get the image up there too but as you can see um, I can't remember I think I switched this to uh, satellite view yep so you know, you can get the satellite view of the place there is a list view I believe that I clicked the list to, here at the end of the video to show you that it will show the list of uh, locations I guess I'm zooming up on it so it's a little slow and a little clunky in the emulator um, you don't need a Google Maps API for this either. It uh, just shows up. So see there, this is the list. But there you go.